is hot chocolate cake. Hey family, it's time for Sweet Treat Friday. And you know if it ain't sweet, then it ain't a treat. Of course, we are doing these sweet treats for playoff weekends and for Super Bowl that's coming up in a few weeks. And this is another simple, easy, sweet treat that you can offer your guests, okay? It's really simple. Most of the, uh, the country is dealing with cold temperatures, frigid temperatures, blizzards, snow, all of that good stuff. So I thought it would be a perfect idea to make a hot chocolate cake. What y'all think about that? A hot chocolate cake. That's what we're going to make. So for the playoff games that's coming up this weekend, here's your cake. Or you can save this idea for the Super Bowl. Either way, it's very simple and easy. These are our ingredients. Of course, I will put all of the uh, ingredients in the description so you'll know exactly what to make. But we got a cup here of buttermilk. We got, um, well, I'm going to just tell you what we have, and then I'll put the ingredients in the uh, description, but the amount, rather. But we've got buttermilk, vanilla extract. We've got vegetable oil, eggs, and um, cocoa powder, flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder in here. And we have Dixie Crystal regular sugar, and then we've got um, light brown packed sugar, okay? Now, all of these ingredients here is for our chocolate cake. Okay, these items are for the chocolate cake. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the star of the show, Teresa. This is our hot chocolate. Okay, and we're going to put milk with this and make the hot chocolate. All right. So this is going to be for our cake. This is our filling. The, well, let me put this to the side. This is going to be our filling. This marshmallow cream is what we're going to um, fill our insides with. And then the marshmallows are just for our garnish. Okay, and then over here, this is our buttercream chocolate buttercream frosting that we're going to put on top of our cake when i say i'm super excited to make this cake i believe it's going to be just as warm and and delicious as as hot uh chocolate hot cocoa if you like me i absolutely love me hot cocoa so let's get into making this cake you're going to need two eight inch um pans i've got two eight inch pans here and i've already put wet my baking strips and um have those around the pans, okay? So come on guys, let's get into making this cake. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is work on this chocolate buttercream frosting, okay? I'm gonna go ahead on and do this and get this out of the way. So we're gonna put our two sticks of butter in and what we're gonna do, we're gonna whisk this butter and we're gonna whisk it until it's Till it changes color, till it gives us like a vanilla color, okay? We're gonna change it. Uh, Teresa, what are you doing? Well, first of all, guys, we gotta turn on. We gotta turn on our mixer, all right? So let me get this situated here. And we want to um, beat this. I'm going to put it on five minutes. And then we're going to check it and see uh, if it's the color that we want, okay? So we've got our two sticks of butter. And we're going to whip this up, okay? For about five minutes and we'll check it. So, let me see if I can get this to go up that path. All right, so there we go, guys. Let me show y'all the change in color of our butter, okay? That's what we want. So, we're going to scrape down the sides one more time. Now, we're going to take our half a cup of Hershey's cocoa, and we're going to pour it in with our butter, okay? All right, got a half a cup here. Okay. Now 
just combine that slowly. Combine it slowly so that it don't fall everywhere. Turn it up a little bit along. Okay, I'm gonna turn this down, stop it. And then scrape the sides, making sure that we get all of our butter mixed with our chocolate. Okay, that's what we want. All right, that's good. We'll get the rest of that once we get to putting our powdered sugar in, okay, guys? Right here, I've got five cups of powdered sugar that I've sifted. And we're gonna pour, pour it in in batches, okay? I'm gonna just pour it in in batches. Okay, I just want to show you all, when it start getting thick on you, then that's when you go to your half a cup of milk, okay? What I'm gonna do now, I got this last little bit that I'm gonna pour in here. I'm gonna pour in this last little bit, and then I'm gonna have to add some milk because it's getting thick. half a teaspoon of vanilla, pour that in. And then I'm gonna just pour in a little milk just to start us off, okay? Just a little milk to start us off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stop it right here. And I'm gonna scrape down the sides and let's just see what it's feeling like, uh-huh. Okay, so it needs a little bit more milk. That's why I had a half a cup. Because you don't want it too stiff to on you, okay? So make sure you go around the sides and get all of your powdered sugar before you pour in the last of your milk, okay? And make sure you're scraping under the bottom of your bowl as well, okay? All right, so this is our buttercream frosting. Okay. And let that continue to mix. That's good enough right there. And this Mm -mm. That's our buttercream frosting. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take it out of this bowl and sit it in another bowl because we're gonna need this bowl to make up our cake. So hold your horses. Okay guys, so now on to our next step. So the next step is you wanna take all of your flour, your cocoa powder, your salt, your baking soda, and your baking powder. We're gonna take that along with our light brown sugar and our regular sugar, and I'm gonna put all of this in. I'm gonna show you. We're just gonna pour all of this right here in our stand mix, okay? Just like that. 
take the sugar, pour it in as well. Okay, we put all of that in our stand mixer. Now, let's go right on back over here again. Okay, let's move our pan right there for now. We're gonna take our eggs, and this is not like me. We're gonna take our eggs here. I never do that like that, so I can't, I can't do it, guys. I don't want no bad eggs. Okay, so we're gonna take our eggs, just like that. Take your oil. Let's take this buttermilk. vanilla extract okay now what we want to do well I'm fixing to whisk all of this but in this um, cup here I've got one cup of milk and I've got that hot cocoa pack I poured in here I'm gonna just pour it right here with our milk and we're gonna put this in the microwave and get it hot okay is our hot chocolate. We're gonna put this in the microwave. We're gonna let it get hot. Okay, so while that's doing that, let's get our whisk. And let's whisk up all of this. This is our wet ingredients, okay? And our hot. Because you want it hot. And make sure to make sure you make your um hot cocoa with milk, okay? And not water. Alright, now that that's mixed, let's see. We'll give it a few more minutes, it should be about ready. And make sure that it's hot. Let's see if it's hot. Not quite. Let's give it a little bit more. Okay, guys, this is our hot chocolate. Can y'all see the smoke? Can y'all see the smoke? Can you see that smoke? All right, that's what we want, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just pour this in slowly. And stir it in slowly. Let's get in slowly. Just like this. Y'all see what I'm doing? Stop whisking. Ooh, it smells so good. Now, what we want to do, we're going to bring you all right on back around over here. We're just going to turn right back around over here to our stand mixer. And we're going to pour our wet, our wet right in here with our um, dry ingredients, okay? And we're gonna mix this 
for about three minutes, okay? Pull this down, turn that on. And set it for about three minutes. You start it off slow. Okay, and start it off slow. All right, that is it. That is it, and so we're going to get ready to pour our cake. Let's do this like this. Bring it over here. Bring you all on over here with us. Right about here. Right about there is good. Yeah. Right here to make sure we get all of our chocolate off. Let's see, we got some back here on our beater. We want to get this off, okay? All right. Now, one thing I'm, I want to tell you, this is going to be a thin batter. It's going to be thin, okay? So don't think you've done anything wrong. It's a thin batter, but when I tell you it's a pretty chocolate batter, just make sure everything is mixed up in here from the bottom. All right. Y'all look at that pretty, that pretty chocolate batter. That is so pretty. So don't be alarmed. It's supposed to be thin, okay? Now we're going to pour our batter in our pans evenly. That. And our oven is set for 350. And we're going to bake these cakes for approximately 30 minutes, okay? I'll check them at 25 just to see. All right. Should we get all of this out of here? Okay, guys, so I checked our cake at 25 minutes, and they were not ready, but it's been 30 minutes now. It's been 30 minutes. So we're going to pull them out. Let this heat come out some first, and we're going to pull. Woo! It's hot in this oven. Yeah, I can get them from back here. All right, that's our first one. That's our first one. Let's put our toothpick in here. Oh, yeah. She's coming out clean, like we like. And then this is our second one. Okay. That's our second one. All right. So we're going to set it right there. We're going to let these cakes cool. I'm going to wash and clean up some. We're going to let them cool. And then I'll flip them out and uh, we'll, we'll fill them and make them pretty. So hold your horses. Okay, guys. So our cakes have cooled and we have turned one of them out. And I'm going to go ahead on and um, start frosting our cake for us, okay? <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So we got our chocolate buttercream right here. We're going to put it to the side because what we want to do now, we want to use this marshmallow cream. And this is what we're going to put in the middle of our cake. We're going to see how this going to work for us, guys. Okay, this is my, <laughs> this is my uh, way of doing this. Whenever I have hot chocolate, I like to have marshmallows. So, let's see here. 
we can get this to, to do right for us. What I'm going to do is take this little small spatula here and we're going to try to spread it. I should have put a um, piece of tape up under my thing. I forgot to do it. But let's just see how this is going to work, guys. I think it's going to work pretty good. I think, I think. Okay, just like this. Okay, that's what we want. Just like that. Okay. Head to the side. Now we're going to get our other cake. Set it up on here like that. Okay. Get this one in right here. Open my hands. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to frost it now with our buttercream. Okay. Now let's frost this. Okay. Is that not pretty right there though? Isn't that pretty guys? Okay, so we're gonna bring our frosting down. And around and over and all of that good stuff. Frosting back up onto our cake right here. Boy, she's gonna be pretty when we get done with her. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. Okay, guys, so our cake has been sitting in the refrigerator. I had to go and run an errand. So I left it sitting in the refrigerator. And now let me clean up from around here a little bit. All right, we done let it sit. Let's finish her up. So we can uh, see what she's going to taste like. All right. So we're going to finish frosting her. And what did I do with my, well, I'll just go back. I have started using this, so I'll just go back to it. Let's just finish fixing her on up. Okay, guys. So we have decorated our hot chocolate cake. And I, I had some extra little candies here. I'm going to just sprinkle. Not sprinkle, just kind of chop some of these. Twix right up in here like this. We're just going to make it. It's a hot chocolate cake, so we're just going to add a little extra chocolate flavor to it. A little something, something. I had, I thought I had some um, Hershey's um, chocolate that I wanted to put on here, but I couldn't find them because the grandkids have been over here. 
So, that's good right there. That's good right there. I'm satisfied right there. All right. So, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. This is our hot chocolate cake. All right. So, we're going to get ready to slice up and let you know what she tastes like. Hold your horse. We're going to fix her up some now. I'm going to get my cake comb. Y'all know I love my cake comb. And I'm going to just come around the, come around the side. Come around the sides. I have to come back around here because I messed that up right there. that like that and then y'all know I love to spin my cakes but it really doesn't matter because we're going to we're going to fix this up a little differently all right so what I want to do I'm going to get I left so I close these up but what I want to do I want to get our Get some of our marshmallows and I'm gonna just go around the sides just like this with our marshmallows. Okay, this is gonna be time consuming, so I'm gonna just show y'all how I'm starting it out, and then when I'm done, I'll come back and show you. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, guys, this is our hot chocolate cake, and we're going to get ready to slice her. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hot? You want a small, uh -huh. medium? Uh, medium. Like right here, maybe? Mm -hmm. That's good? Mm -hmm. I hope y'all had a good Friday. T-G-I-F, as they say. Go get it then. I think I can get her out. I'm trying okay. to. I was trying to give you that candy that's on top. What kind of candy is it? Okay, this is our hot chocolate um, Twix. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Hot chocolate cake. Hot chocolate cake. Okay. That's your little sweetie. Thank you, dear. Mm-hmm. And it's definitely What's this stuff in the middle of it? Um marshmallow cream. Okay. Marshmallow cream. Marshmallow cream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My my. Okay. And then that's my slice, guys. And you know you be <laughs> you know you be backing up. It's, a, it's just I, I can't you. see. My eyes are like it looks the closer than what it actually is. But I just want to take precautions. Well, I promise you, honey. I know uh, there was no intention. You weren't intentionally cut me. Never. Father God, we thank you for this day, Lord. We give your name the praise, honor, yes, and glory, Jesus. God. We thank, thank you for you, life, God. health, and strength. We thank you for thank you, God. each other, God. We ask, ask you to continue to strengthen our marriage, Father God, yes. in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our YouTube family. Yes, God. Lord. I ask you to bless them, God, in this this year. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, as we partake in this food, let it be nourishment for our body, sanctified, purified, and make it holy, and let it do us no harm. And God, continue to bless my wife who prepared this meal. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, guys. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, I got these crumbs that was off of your... Ready? Mm-mm. Yeah, go ahead. You can eat mine when it's yours. Mm. Mm. 
Put that chocolate over there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Taste it one more time. Mm. I like that marshmallow in the middle. That is so good with this to me. It is. I'm not a big chocolate, I mean, chocolate milk, chocolate hot cocoa, whatever it is, fan. Mm -hmm. Hot chocolate. So I can't compare it to it, but the cake is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And she's right. <clears throat> I like that that um white marshmallow stuff on the inside mm -hmm. of it. That mm -hmm. is what makes this cake. I can say that right now. It's that cream. Mm, mm, mm. It's so light. It sure is. Moist. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Chocolatey. Mm -mm -mm. mm -mm -mm. mm. If you like chocolate, is it. Like I told y'all. Play off this weekend. Crunch is good. You can make, you can throw this together real quick. What kind of icing is it? Buttercream. <laughs> Chocolate buttercream. So that was good. Y'all can throw it together for, for this weekend for um for your playoff games or save this recipe for Super Bowl Sunday. However, it's your choice. Sweet treat Friday, your choice. However you want to do it. And I like reading the comment. Seemed like the soup was right on time. Everybody saying how cold it is, where they're staying at. All I know is that potato soup, that lasagna soup. Mm, I even like um, the uh, uh, chicken pot pie soup. Mm -hmm. But the lasagna soup. I think out of and, all um, of them, my this favorite. potato soup was the bomb. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I think it's between the potato soup and the chicken pot pie for mm. me. The, the lasagna was. It was okay, but mm. oh, Lord have mercy. That potato soup and that chicken pot pie. Those two were so good to me. But. All of them are good. Yeah, they are. You did a wonderful job. Thank you, baby. So we're going to get ready to get off of this video. We're going to say um, we appreciate y'all. And we do. The cooking class is coming up. It is. And I'd like to see y'all at the ones that have responded and they're looking forward yes. to it. Mm -hmm. mm. I know I'm not going to be cooking anything, but I'm going to be liking to read the comments and just look at everybody <laughs> interacting. I hope it just be so much fun for us. I really do. That's my prayer. And um, we're getting ready to get a business phone and we're going to put it on our own. Um, on our community page and also we'll talk about it during the um our, our different videos we put out but we want when y'all do cook when y'all finish take a picture of your cake and text it to the number that's going to be on it so we can have a, a collage of pictures and we're going to put that on our page so mm -hmm. that everybody can see your uh your case we, we just want to see how creative you guys are right and then your text put your name at the bottom of your cake mm -hmm. so we can give you credit and i'm so sorry but during the live y'all were just sending um names for the session and i couldn't remember who sent in tnt delights so if that was you that said to name the session tnt delight we did that's what I, we we got uh our children and we all came to the conclusion TNT Delights. That's what everybody, after we put it and everybody chose that one, that's what, I, me personally, I was like in the community, what was it? Uh, community community K. K. I like that one, but everybody, when it was all pulled, it went with uh, TNT Delights, so. If you could, please send us your name so we can give you a shout out. Yes, because yes. Because we really like all the names. We but, really did, we really did. We really did. Next time, we're going to let y'all go. We're going to put, because I don't know. Um, but somebody was telling me I could put it on there and y'all would do a poll. Yep. Um, so we're going to do it that way. Next time, next time we have something to come up. Mm -hmm. But um, y'all just stick with us. We're still learning together. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. If y'all like this kind of content, we just ask that y'all continue to watch, like, share, share, and share again. Mm -hmm. and, and if you're not a member, please subscribe. Take time out to hit that notification button. Uh, you'll be notified when we're... Um, Doing something over here at the Taylor House. So, can I just show them that I went ahead on and took that 
um, slip cover back and got another one right quick. <laughs> I just want to show y'all real quick. Like I took the slip cover back that I purchased from Walmart. I took it back and I'm going to show you all. This is the one that I got. Can y'all see? This is it. This is what I end up getting. Let me put it like so y'all can see it. But that's it. It's blue. It's so pretty to me. It needs to be straightened up, but who cares? Y'all are family. And when you go to your family house, everything don't always be in place, right? That part. I mean, do y'all really know that y'all are our family? Y'all are really our family. Okay, so please know that. All right, baby, we can we can close it now. So with that being said, we asked it. Mm, we already said it. Yeah. <laughs> Let the journey continue. Bye, guys. Bye, family. Bye, bon y'all. <laughs> See you the next time. <laughs>